KATC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, as we look ahead, it's going to be a little bit of a go of it as we get into early next week. The risk of a tropical system threatening the upper Texas coast all the way over to perhaps Mississippi or Alabama. That's how we're going to have to play this one. Certainly there's going to be a tropical threat. It looks like a significant tropical threat, not just a low end category one hurricane, maybe something substantial. So we'll get to that in just a bit. First off, though, our drone shot today. Tropical skies across Acadiana, blue skies earlier, but clouds are starting to pile up off to our east. In fact, uh, the, this shot earlier uh, was showing showers and storms in the distance, but now they are knocking at the door and we'll get to the Doppler radar in just a bit. Beautiful day out there. So we have high pressure saying the stage off to the north of us an upper level low here by the Bahamas, but this is going to be moving westward and that's what's eventually going to entice our tropical system right now. We're seeing lots of upper level shear with that system. We'll get a little bit more closer into that in just a bit, but let's take care of the weather at hand. Scattered showers and storms firing up this afternoon. Had a couple of shots of funnel clouds uh, offshore. I shared them on social media, but locally some showers and storms moving in, but not nearly as strong as what we saw yesterday afternoon and evening and coming in closer. You see what we call a gust front out here, a, a, a outflow boundary from storms that were earlier cooking off to our east, but have fallen apart. So this is kind of like a gust of wind. You'll see maybe a few sprinkles and this is a cloud bank. And then normally uh, we got another one down here coming from a storm that is just south of Abbeville. And sometimes when they collide. This is where that you get your thunderstorm activity. It's like two waves crashing together. So that's what we watch in the summertime and love power Doppler three. We can pick on those subtle features and you see how that one shower is developing northwest of the Milton area. Scattered storms, Abbeville down through uh, Erath and Delcom. Some cloud to ground lightning as well. Uh, this cell right here by the Burke area just northeast of Losas and just south of Broussard producing some heavy downpours. And then again, you can see that activity down along the coast and then a few more cells as we get down toward uh, Forked Island and then uh, farther offshore as well. But this activity won't last long. It'll probably push on through in the next few hours and then dissipate after the daytime heating. But we can see on the enhanced uh, infrared satellite imagery, those storms looking pretty good this afternoon, but nowhere near as intense as they were yesterday afternoon, but still feeding off pretty high heat, at least 97 the high in Lafayette today. We're going to break that heat wave. It should start tomorrow. Meanwhile, tropics active uh, hurricane set center track three systems, one that could get a name and another one that could get a name. And the next two names up are Ida and also Julian. And we don't know who's going to be what right here, so we can't call a potential a tropical cyclone Ida or uh, whatever. Uh, but we probably will see the National Hurricane Center coming up with a potential tropical cyclone because this is the area that we're concerned with as it gets developed down the line. But now we see plenty of upper level shear, but uh, there is a definitive low pressure system circulating down here and latest forecast track uh, shows uh, and again the tropical models really can't be trusted because you can see how they're initializing in different locations but you get the gist here that everything is going to be moving northwestward toward the northwest Gulf of Mexico with storm tracks as far east as eastern Louisiana and then back toward the Texas coastline as well. So here's the GFS model and the latest one is coming in so this is going to change but here we go Saturday and this is when we're we're really going to know who this is going to really impact the most because you have to wait for the Yucatan Peninsula to kind of release the storm and see what we have. Uh, but we do think there'll be a tropical storm getting into the Gulf, but it could go through a rapid intensification cycle or a series of them because the Gulf of Mexico is so hot. I'm going to be talking about that on a Facebook Live coming up at 645 this evening. But look at the way the lines are closed off here. This is a powerful hurricane making landfall perhaps. Uh, late Monday or early Tuesday and then slowing down, which is never good. That means an extended period of storm surge and heavy rainfall uh, that may continue well beyond the landfall date uh, by several days. European model in the same realm showing a potent uh, hurricane making landfall Monday into Tuesday. So timing still needs to be ironed out with these systems. But bottom line, not only the storm thir surge threat and the wind threat, but uh, the models are going for big 
rainfall, 10 to 15 inches of rain or more. Isolated amounts of perhaps piling up after the storm up to 20 or 25 inches down along the coast. But again, preliminary stuff. And here's the European model, much the same, anywhere between a 6 to 10 inch rainfall. So everything that you get with a hurricane is on the table, perhaps for Louisiana or somewhere else. So uh, understanding the forecast pro process is very important. We've been talking about pattern recognition going back to last week. We're watching trends right now. We're seeing model agreement. Things are looking more likely we're going to have a tropical system impacting our area close to home. And over the next day or two, we're going to get a better understanding of the path, and that will take us to what kind of impacts and what action you need to take as a storm potentially approaches the area. 76 the low with rain chances early tomorrow. Quiet start to the day with scattered tropical showers and a few storms late afternoon. Early evening hours will favor upper 80s to near 90. Rain chances up and down as we go through uh, the weekend. And then, of course, we'll be watching early next week for the potential of a hurricane and a could be a big one. We'll just have to wait and see. Of course, we'll have more at 6 o'clock with a new model run and a Facebook Live coming up at 645. That's it for now. We'll have more right after the break.